Hey, welcome back. Today I want to talk to you for just a moment about how to carry your bow. A lot of people get confused when they have to carry their base about what they should do with their bow while they're carrying the base. Oh, where, where do I put it? They carry it with it sticking out all kinds of weird directions. You can't carry your music. If you use a stool, you can't carry your stool. So what do you do with this thing? Something that some people do, and I'm going to talk about this first, which is what not to do, is please never stick the bow inside the F-hole. I see people do this all the time, and I'll tell you what I've seen when I see people do that, is I have seen bases and bows seriously damaged. If you're walking around a corner or through a door and you accidentally catch the end of the bow, I've seen people have this entire part of their F-hole ripped right off. I've seen bows cracked and snapped. Please never stick it inside the F-hole. What you do instead, which is easy, well, I mean, you could always get a quiver like I have, but if you don't have the quiver, this is what you do. Take the tip of the bow, set it on the bridge, slide it underneath the E-string, works on a German bow or a French bow. It's easy, you even have a hand free to carry your music or a stool and you don't have to worry about the bow at all. It's safe for the bow and for the base. When you get where you're going, you just pull it right back out, easy as pie. I'm gonna bring the camera in close and show you that one more time, and then you'll know how to carry your bow. Okay, here it is one more time, a little bit closer, just so you can see it. I'm going to take the tip, I'm gonna set it on the bridge, slide the frog up underneath the E-string, it's clipped in, easy to carry. Okay, so there you go. Now you know how to carry the bow. If you found this helpful, uh, please remember to like the page, leave me a comment. If there's anything that you'd like to see a video made about, uh, please leave me a suggestion in the comments. And if I can get around to it, I'd be glad to do that for you. Thank you very much.